Hey everyone, it's Joel from FireTalkGames.com. Today is another tutorial around the series. Um, we're going to just go over some basic things that uh, can happen while you're hosting your Minecraft server at any time. Uh, some basic things like when it crashes, how to read uh, the logs and how to read crash reports to find out what the issue was. Um, we're also going to go over a bit of plugins uh, how to install them, I'm not sure I'm going to show you guys how to configure them yet. Uh, maybe I'll show you how to configure a few of the stock plugins. Um, or more important plugins, I should say. Um, but we're going to start off here with our testing server that we created in, on the last video. And you'll see that now I have two new things here. I got my log, which I was talking about before and I got my crash report folder. Now m this server didn't actually crash because it's a stock it's a bone stock server uh, but my firetop server did crash and I'll show you guys how I figured out what the issue was and how I fixed it. So first thing I did was I came over here and I opened the crash report. Now this is only a feature recently added to um, Minecraft servers but basically, um, when it crashes, it will create a crash report on uh, the error that it that the, the console gave when it happened. So, um, of course, crash report. Don't be sad. I'll do better next time. I promise. So they give you a quirky message each time. Um, so description, okay. Uh, exception in t a server tick loop. So a tick in a server is. It, it's like a measurement of time okay so um, usually when you do a tick uh, test on your server it will be some, it will do something like testing your ticks in, t in you know in 10 seconds or t 5 seconds and it will say and it will do 5 seconds of a countdown and then tell you how many ticks went by in 1 second and that's kind of a way of figuring out the, the general speed of your com of your server seeing if it's lagging or not. Now, when it says tick loop, it usually means that obviously the ticks aren't going very fast, they're, very, they're going very slowly. Um, and that would usually mean there's lag. But the reason here, this is the reason right over here. Why was the server lagging so hard and it crashed? Well, Java Lang, okay, out of memory error, Pretty simple, right? There, there's your, the reason it crashed. Out of memory error. G C overhead limited exceeded. So the server limit that we set up. So remember in the last video when we set up our start file limit. Okay. When we came over here, we set a limit of eight gigabytes. Okay. Now. Our minimum of is 1 gigabyte, our limit is 8 gigabytes. But like I've said before in the last video, when this gets exceeded, you got problems. That that's very that's that's a problem for your server. And as you could tell from that crash report, that's exactly what happened on Firetop. My limit was exceeded and I was out of memory, out of RAM. So now that I know that is the issue, I want to know why did I run out of RAM? So and I'll show you, so we're going to show you how you figure out why you ran out of RAM. Uh, actually, in this report, you should actually, I completely forgot about this. It will give you the, the default, um, or not the default, but at the time, what was the stats of each world. So, like, uh, world entities, okay, so um, there you go. So there's a, a problem right there. There was too many entities in the one world, okay? world players, there were 16 players in total uh, then there's going to be world chunks, how many chunks were loaded uh, to be honest that's that's a lot uh, we can look into that after, I didn't even notice that the first time nether and then the end, the grass, the sky world, the walls and we'll show you all the general stuff for all the um, worlds now as you can tell in sky worlds it says there's there was five players and whoops and 25 entities in total so entities include things like sheep and um, you know anything really pig 
those are entities. Also, things that you drop, like if you press Q and drop your sword and it's just floating on the ground there, that will be considered an entity. So, there were 65 entities, there were five players. If you come over to World here, you see there was World Entities. It says Error, instead of giving you the normal entities. And, the, and, and then it gives you that error again, overhead, you know, limit exceeded. So now that you'll know that you had uh, one of the reasons your server might ha have had a problem was because you were there was too many entities in that world. There was only 16 players at the time, but there was a lot of entities. So what you can do is you can start going to your bucket.yml that we set up the other day. Okay, you would go here, and then you would limit the amount of en entities that. Um, can do anything. So right now there's 25. This is just a random setup we had the other day. But let's say you still had it at 400, uh, you could put it down to 20. Uh, let's say the spawn rate was at, uh, you know, a thousand. You can put it down to 500. You're trying to limit the amount of entities that are allowed to spawn. Okay. So um, there you go. So now that you know, kind of. Uh, why the server crashed? It was because it ran out of memory because uh, because of too many entities. But there might be more to it, so I'll show you how you figure that out too. There's something called stack traces in your log file when the server crashes. And I'm going to close all but this. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. So this is after a few hours of the server running, and here's the stack traces. So this is what happened here. So connection reset, okay. T read timeout, connection reset. Then it started to do a read timeout loop. Then the server detected it stopped responding. Okay. So I'm using right now a Craft Bucket Plus Plus version just to identify the issues. But usually I use Craft Bucket standard. It's just that the stack traces are much more detailed in Craft Bucket Plus Plus. So now it will show you the threads. So threads thread, thread, it will show you all the threads that the server is running for all the plugins, for all the, for everything. It will show you all of the processes going on. And it will show you a lot with them. And it, you can sometimes tell, and well obviously they all say severe, you, that's not what you're looking for. What you're looking for is general errors that, you know, the actual word error somewhere in these. Uh, oh, the place you'll usually find errors um, I won't start looking through all of these. The way to find out the plugin that was causing an issue is you go down to the server thread. Okay, so search that. Control F to search. Find text. Okay, no text up. It's got to be down then. Find there you go. Server thread. Now this thread is al almost always where you will find the error, where you will find the issue. It's uh, once the issue makes it to the thir server thread, you are guaranteed to crash. So that's why you always look under th server thread to see what was going on in that thread when it crashed. So as you can see, I have a lot and a lot of uh, entity uh, related errors here. I have uh, a craft block, I have cra a craft world, uh, get chunk. Uh, I have, you know, uh, create chunk, get chunk, generator chunk, provider the end. I have a lot of world, uh, world basic, uh, or things that are, are, that ha are connected to the world, like chunks and entities. So we already knew that entities was a problem. So we would go over into our bucket file and check to lower that. As well, though it does mention chunks a lot, and you have, like I said before, that was a lot of chunks loaded. That was 14,000 chunks. Um, that is extremely rare that uh, I get that many chunks loaded. So a way to limit that is by putting something like a world border on your server, because the further your your players go out into the world, the more chunks get loaded. You can have, if you could fit 5,000 players in one chunk, it would only use one chunk of memory. 
if you only have five players but they are scattered all over the world with all those chunks loaded it will use way more memory than 5,000 players on one chunk. It, memory base is all about how many chunks are loaded. So uh, you could have five players all around the world using way more memory than a thousand players in just a few amount of chunks. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. So a way to limit that is once again I'll show you an, another way you can limit how many chunks are loaded. In your settings.properties you can open with notepad and over here where it says view distance you can lower that. I already set mine to 8. The default is 10. Um, I set mine to 8 and that means that it will lower the amount of chunks that load per player. Also what you can do is you can set up a world border like I do on Firetop. So mc.firetopgames. Uh, there you go. And you see this world border basically says it all. Now I'm not sure how anyone got past this world border here. That's That might be one of the issues I believe. That's not good. Um, but basically as you can see, people have been starting to explore out into the world border and it used to be much t tighter. It used to be only 1,800 blocks around. Now it's at 2,500. I didn't I increase it. I'm guessing that Ario did. Um, Areo is what he likes to be called. So, um, what I might do is decrease that a bit um, before anyone decides to go building out there. Oh, there's a rail right down there as we speak. I'm going to go creep him out. So Cody's giving away items, and he's not even hired yet. He's st is still being a staff. Okay, well, um, so yeah, a way to fix that is by uh, either decreasing the amount of chunks per player or setting up like a, something like a world border so that less chunks get loaded. Um, so now that you know that, uh, there's actually one last thing that I noticed when I was checking out the log file and the stack traces. Uh, that over here, it says under server thread, if you zoom in, it says down here, value listener. It also says me.mkmhu value, value and then value listener and player interact. Now basically what this means is um, when a player interacted with the value listener from the plugin value developed by bucket on developed by bucket on this guy, okay, it's kind of like reading backwards here. Uh, this guy developed it. Uh, it's a, it's a bucket plugin. The plugin is value. The issue was value listener, and it was on player interact when someone interacted with the plugin. And value is the plugin that on my server where you do slash value, and then whatever you're holding in your hands, it will give you the value of it. Now, plugin information is never supposed to be under the server thread. Uh, if you get server thread and you see plugin information, either update your plugin, reconfigure it, or delete it because it is a, an issue on your server. So what I did on this crash on Firetop was I checked for an update uh, and there was none. So for now, I just deleted value. Um, you can come over here and obviously the first thing you do is you go to value bucket and as you can see that's exactly what I searched in what you do is you run your server you let it run then you would do value or option uh, version value okay as you can see the plugin doesn't exist right now but that's how you would check the version and I had the newest version it was released on September 1st um, or September 3rd I should say um, and so there was no update so instead of trying to decide to reconfigure right now I just decided to take out the plugin um, no I don't want to reload so we know now that we have a few issues one was that our entity count was too high too many chunks were loaded and um, and my 
and uh, what am I trying to say? And value was a problem, not plugin. So solution: we decrease the amount of chunks per player in server.properties. properties. We decrease the amount of uh, entities in server.yml. We delete value. And then what I even did was I went over to my creeper host, which is my host. I went to control panel. I went login. And I dedicated more memory to my server, more RAM to it. I'm renting a 6 uh, gig, or no, sorry, um, 8 gigabyte server for Firetop. And as you can see here, it's going to load me all the server details. So RAM usage, right now it's using 47%, uh, which is that much. Um, CPU usage and disk usage. Uh, I can also see the console from here. Now, I'm going to show you what I was trying to say on the other server that we were creating. If you type in version and then value, it will actually that time it won't work since I actually did remove it. Um, so you see it says uh, no plugin by that name. Let's just to show you that it actually works, I'm going to do a slash version command book. And then you'll see up here version command book is this version so it does tell you the version if you just type in version it will tell you the version of craft bucket you are running okay so I'm running currently this version of craft bucket unknown version because it's craft bucket plus plus it's an optimized version of craft bucket with some changes to it but back to the issue so I deleted value I increased um, or decrease the chunks and entity limit um, and then I went over here to server properties and not all hosters will allow this uh, but this is the thing I absolutely love about Creeper Host and you can decide how much memory you want to allocate to the server so previously the server had 600 6390 megabytes uh, allocated to the server so that's like that limit that you set in the start file um, now I set it to 7,669 megabytes. So I gave it more memory, plus I removed the plugins and reconfigured. So that hopefully now that out of, em out of memory error will not be an issue. And it doesn't seem to be. When I return to the, da the dashboard, um, you saw that the server was actually only running uh, pr probably, what was it, 40% of, it, of its memory was being used, which is what you're looking for. Um, although there is not a lot of plugin or er, people on early in the morning, it is important to make sure that okay, I'm at 47% of RAM used. Cool. So um, I'll have to look into decreasing that border, but um, that's just an, another observation and doesn't have to be done right away. So that's how you read a stack trace. That's how you determine what pr plugin was the issue. And then of course when you come down here and you're reading the stack traces just right under the stack traces you'll get your loops saying it's out of memory and then even this I think it will say out of memory at some point right there so in your stack traces out of memory there you go so that's how the other file in here crash report knew what the error was because it was the last given error it was out of memory error so and basically it just finds out what that was and makes it easier for you to find but there's a lot of important information in the stack traces you want to be aware of so um, now that that's done we can delete our log file and our crash reports um, and that's I guess all I'm going to go over right away uh, in the next video we're going to talk about the essential plugins uh, on the server we're going to add maybe five to ten plugins and I'll show you how to even edit the plugins a bit uh, and how to manually update your own plugins uh, if you're having trouble um, though right now this video is already enough information for you guys to process so I'll leave that for you guys to figure out and I'll be back in a little bit with another video so thank you guys, subscribe, and hopefully you like the series so far. Um, i taking a bit of my time out of my way to do this, but it's helping people in general, since most people don't understand what this stuff does. So 
Um, there you go. So have a good day. Talk to you later.